Hi guys, this is Andres again. I'm gonna take you to another of our virtual tours and I'll bring you back to Brazil, one of my favorite countries. Um, but this time to the southeast of Brazil, to the area that is called the Atlantic Forest, the Mata Atlantica. Uh, let me show you on the map. This is the big Brazil. Uh, here, this is the Pantanal. And this short tour that is only seven nights takes place just around here in the southeast part of Brazil. You see, the whole of the Brazil interior is quite dry, but here, this particular portion of the Mata Atlantica, you can see that it is a little bit greener in that. It's because there is a mountain range that creates a rain shadow, and all along the coast in here, we have a, a humid area that it is great for a lot of endemic birds that occur between Sao Paulo, a bit south of that, and uh, Rio de Janeiro, a bit north of that. So, um, yeah, let's start. Our tour starts in the huge metropolis of uh, Sao Paulo, but ha we hardly touch it. We land at the airport of Guarulhos, and uh, the next day, after um, arrival day, we take the road and move towards the coast. Um, on the way, you can see that there is some dry habitats. We go for a few things that we can find in these uh, dry habitats. Uh, these streamer tail tyrants are probably the uh, number one target in this particular wetland that we uh, stop at, um, looking for those, uh, doing these spectacular um, displays when, uh, when they get pissed with my playback. Um, we see some of the widely distributed birds there that are good for the particular tour. This is a uh, black-capped Donacobius, uh, chestnut-capped blackbird is always around wetlands, a uh, very nice bird of Brazil. Uh, grassland sparrow, uh, we, uh, this is probably the only place that we can get down in this particular tour. Um, we have uh, long-tailed tyrants that are cute little birds around there. And this is the only place also in this particular tour where we can get masked water tyrants. Um, Plumbius rails are around because we are actually stopping in a wetland uh, trying to build up the list, but also as you can see, we can find some of the uh, cool birds around uh, that, that Brazil has got um, on the way. This is a Rufus Ornero. I just wanted to show you how it uh, builds the nest, this, uh, this Ornero. Um, and uh, you may be very familiar with black-bellied whistling ducks. Well, this is uh, the Brazilian counterpart. The white-faced whistling ducks are really, really cool to watch. Um, another of the uh, specialists of these wetlands is a yellow-chinned spinetail. And uh, when we move on, we uh, will hit the coast. This is the ocean in the background, and this is a borrowing owl that it is right after we did some birding in these particular areas here trying to collect those common birds and a couple of rarities that are for instance a marsh anren that it is super super um, localized it's basically only here we take the road and we move down here and this is what i was telling you i just want to show you the topography of this area um, the areas that we are is in a high plateau and we go in this very 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 winding road all the way down to the coast and notice how after we hit the, uh, the forested areas the forest goes all the way down to the coastline basically and uh, we arrive to the city of Ubatuba where we'll spend three nights so we will we will bird three nights in the in the lowlands and then three nights in the highlands once we get to ubatuba that is this beautiful place in the coast you will see that the scenery is just fantastic this is the coastal area of ubatuba in uh, kind of a gray day but with blue skies is just magnificent um, you can see how here the uh, forest basically goes all the way down to the to the sea. Uh, it's a very, very nice place. Um, I was there 
with my wife a few years back is one of my favorite places as I told you uh, we're enjoying the coastline of Brazil in here this is my wife Paula in this place here the um, southeast of Brazil is very very famous for a nice group of birds the tanagers and probably the one that most that people want to see the most when they come here is this one the red necked tanager is just a bit too much <laughs> a very very um, colorful gaudy beautiful bird but uh, Brazilian tanager it's uh, another of the uh, bright birds that uh, you can find in these areas this tour is great because we have a great great chance to photograph things like this because we visit feeders uh, and get the stuff like those previous tanagers and this green headed tanager or um, even burnish buff tanager this is a male of that one the feeders here are magnificent that's why people that love photography uh, have a great great time in this uh, in this uh, tour this is a Brazilian endemic it's called Azur Shoulder Tanager and in this short tour that is only seven nights we can have the possibility to get up to 65 species of endemic birds of Brazil not this one this is widely distributed is a is a mango uh, <laughs> black-throated mango because the hummingbirds are also standing in uh, southeast of Brazil this is a festive coquette if you split it is uh, endemic to Brazil as well um, and yeah, as I told you, we have a chance to photograph quite a lot and spend some time at the feeders and uh, get stuff like this other one, another endemic, the sawbill hermit. Mm, look at that bill, it's, it's very unlike other hummingbirds. It's a huge, very strong bill, um, as you can see. Um, this is a big target, believe it or not. It's a somber hummingbird. Brazilian endemic. You'll hear me saying the word endemic quite a bit because these areas are just filled with endemism. Um, this is not one of the cases. This is a swallow-tailed hummingbird that occurs in a couple other places as well. Um, uh, this is a violet cap wood nymph um, being delighted at the feeders, uh, the same with the white chin sapphire. And there is a place that this guy just lets everybody into his garden and shares with him these beautiful feeders and uh, and you can spend some time there is a Jonas's house is very famous in this Estrada of Folia Seca uh, let me put you on the map this is the city of Ubatuba and we go down here to bird just here you can see that this is a forested road this is the Estrada of Folia Seca here um, notice how much forest is around still in these areas um, another of the big 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 groups that people want to see the most when they come to Southeast Brazil that's why they're special is the ant birds um, I don't really have good pictures of ant birds I'm using these um, pictures that are really good from Nick Athanas so thanks Nick for this um, that was a uh, ferruginous ant bird and this is an ochre rumped ant bird and this is a scaled ant bird another of the endemics of brazil so um this is a spot breasted ant virio in this big group of um, of uh, ant birds that are special to uh, southeast brazil apart from these main three groups tanagers hummingbirds and uh, ant birds there is a bunch of specialties that in these areas are really um sought after like this bellbird the bird throated bellbird um, that is hard to get to see well normally it sits up in the canopy and it's difficult to photograph but you can really really hear this bird um, and uh, we can get also black cheeked uh, nut ears that are amongst my favorite uh, subjects to uh, to photograph in um, in uh, Brazil um, we spend as I told you quite a bit of time photographing because it is a uh, very easy to do that in this tour without sacrificing seeing new birds so um, yeah the other birds that uh, people really like in these areas are the blue mannequins um, and we hit several um, several uh, legs for this one 
um, also called swallow-tailed mannequin as you can see in uh, in here crescent-chested puffbirds are also endemic to Brazil and uh, this is an Atlantic forest specialist uh, and also endemic to Brazil the gray hooded Attila a nice flycatcher plain parakeets as well endemic to Brazil and this bird here is one of my favorite birds in terms of the song is that actually a tapaculo. This tapaculo um, is not super special visually, but hear this uh, is um, sound out. Okay, is one of my favorite songs. Yeah, is a really really cool bird. This one here. Uh, you can hear that across the valley and this song is just sensational. Yeah, so uh, let's continue with the bossa nova from Brazil I was playing. So um, continuing, uh, we can get other things like this uh, white-throated is a yellow-throated version of white-throated spade bill and bar-breasted piculates are around and uh, sometimes we get them in the nests we visit another spot in the same region but it is on the other side of Ubatuba when we do this ride we bump we yeah we run into probably 50 speed bumps is quite annoying but we visit this particular spot after a couple of specific endemic birds that are just very very nice uh, and difficult to get in other places. We're talking about a spotted bamboo wren. This is another of Nick Athena's uh, pictures. He has a quite difficult bird to get. It's also a uh, tapaculo. And this is the main 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 target there. This is a buff-throated um, purple tuft. Tiny. Like tiny. <laughs> probably uh, three four inches but it sits up in the top of this tall forest it's really hard to get so photos are very very difficult another of the endemics the orange-eyed uh, uh, thornbirds are cool there it's a good place to get a white-necked uh, hawk which is also endemic to Brazil and then there's a group after three nights spent in the city in the area of Ubatuba when we visit back and forth areas like these and go to the feeders quite a bit we move for about two hours through the coast and uh, enjoy the landscapes you will see in order to get to this particular spot here Pereque um, but we do this really really early in the morning really early in the morning so that we can uh, uh, reach this area that it is not too close. I just want to show you how our group enjoys some birding here in the coast, um, getting some spoonbills and that. But look at the uh, at the scenery. The shoreline of Brazil is just absolutely spectacular. Um, yeah, this is really really early in the day. We just did a quick um, a quick bathroom stop for uh, in the middle of the of the road. But uh, this is the very main main target. Of this particular ride here um, the black hooded ant wren and uh, basically the whole distribution of this bird in the world is this that's it is a very very difficult bird to find quite uh, quite uh, localized other things that we can get there are probably my favorite bird of Southeast Brazil this is the uh, frilled coquette um, this is one of the main places to get this frilled coquette it's just an stunning hummingbird it's another Brazilian endemic of course uh, look at this just uh, breathtaking um, we can get lemon chested uh, greenlets which also it might get a split uh, soon and it is called the Rio de Janeiro greenlet I think if it gets a split um, endemic to Brazil as well robust woodpecker is one of my favorite birds is one of the best places to get it there in Pereque the same bird here just a cool bird and another of the nice woodpeckers the uh, golden fronted woodpecker 
uh, sometimes it visits feeders and we can get pictures like this. Mm, again, ambrids uh, in the lowlands are very, very cool. This is a spot back and shrike. It's a big, big bird and it is an amazing one. Um, another of the endemic birds of Brazil, these uh, scalloped ambrid is in the same area. Okay, so now we are done with the lowlands and we're going to move into the highlands. So um, from here we continue on the road and uh, at some point through another very winding road we climb up here, go through the dry plateau over here and finish up in another mountain range that it is the first declared national park of um, Brazil, the Itachiaia. National Park. We go through the city of Itachaya, but we basically go up this hill here and uh, um, enter the National Park. The hotel happily is inside the National Park. It's called the Hotel Doipe. Um, when uh, we go in, we can stop for some scenery shots but you can see how it changed dramatically the the uh, ecosystem and the uh, environment the views just different now and uh, it can get quite cold so we go from shorts and short sleeves to um, some more warm clothes i can say but this is the hotel it's a very interesting hotel it's pretty old but it is just very very nice to be in is one of the mm, places that i enjoy the most this kind of European building is, is quite uh, quite interesting. We take one of these huts each. Um, but more than anything, this hotel is famous for the feeders that uh, the hotel has. And these are the grounds of the of the hotel. It's just a, a cool cool place to be at. Um, food is sensational. It's really, really good as a buffet. It's a typical thing of Brazil. You tend to have buffets all over the place, so you tend to gain a lot of weight. And the same thing with the, with the tanagers, they are fat <laughs> because they get fed here. Um, and uh, here we can see a, uh, an example of a green-headed tanagers being fed, but I'll show you all the things that get fed in here in these uh, balconies, just incredible. We can start with um, black gold tanagers, very cool. And uh, this is another of the endemics of Brazil. This is the brassy breasted tanager. It can be around, even though this one hardly gets fed in this, uh, goes to these feeders here, but uh, it is in the area. It's one of my uh, favorite tanagers of the of the area. We can also get here Brazilian tanager, and that one does go to the feeders. Um, so we spend a lot more time photographing and that during the downtime for not when we're not on the trails trying to find some uh, rarities. We can spend time photographing chestnut bellied euphonias as they shout back at us. Um, the same with the fawn breasted tanagers. They are uh, really cool, uh, typical feeder birds in here. And another of the uh, endemics that also gets fed here is these uh, golden chevron tanager. Green-headed tanager, we, we already saw them in the lowlands, but uh, why not seeing them again and getting them with a different light? Beautiful, eh? Um, this is a different subspecies of uh, magpie tanager compared to the one that you can get in the Amazon. It's a bit different on the back particularly, and it also visits uh, the feeders here. And uh, this yellow-green tanager uh, belongs now to a smaller uh, family of tanagers that got split from the normal Traupide uh, family. Uh, it's another endemic of Brazil um, that comes here to the feeders. Ruby crown tanager. I got really, really lucky after five years of not seeing the crest at all. I got this picture with this bird that cooperate quite well. Very nice, eh? Another endemic of um, Brazil. Rufus headed tanager. This is the male uh, outstanding bird. Uh, very cool. Very cool. So you see so far only tanagers is a big group here in Southeast Brazil. It's a more widely distributed of the tanagers that we can still see around. This is the female and this is the male. Um, swallow tanagers. Um, again the golden uh, 
Chevron Tanager this time is a male. And this is also um, one of the best spots to get this frill coquette. This was my first picture of the frill coquette with a older camera. But then the hummingbirds here are also quite special. A lot of people are well familiar with white neck Jacobin, but not with black Jacobin. So for those people, this is a big target. It's a very cool bird, the black Jacobin. Uh, Brazilian ruby, male, also visits feeders here. So we have picked up a few new hummingbirds for the area. We can also get the um, black-eared fairy and this scale-throated hermit eventually and uh, white-throated hummingbirds. They all go to the feeders in here. And also birds that visit the feeders right around the hotel. So this is, we, we have not left the hotel yet uh, the first morning and we can get these maroon belly parakeets and um, we can get yelled at by uh, <laughs> red rumped caciques. And this is a really cool bird. It's uh, one of the big, big targets for most people. This, we all obviously got it on our t-shirts now. Uh, look for a t-shirt when uh, you uh, find us next. We can get you one of these t-shirts. This is a uh, Arasari Banana or Saffron Tucanet. And uh, also, just around the grounds of the hotel, by night, we have this tony browed owl that hoots around the cabins. That's a very cool bird to find. Still, we have not left the hotel grounds and we can get red-bellied toucans and a ton of dusky-legged ones, guans. Um, as lady-breasted wood rails uh, move around the grounds in the parking lot and uh, another of the Brazilian endemics can just be in the parking lot as well. This is the, uh, the velvety black tyrant, female and male. And then we go into the trails. This is a bamboo dominated area and uh, it creates a great habitat for a few specific things that go into bamboo like this star-throated anren and uh, white bibbed anbird and uh, we look for a ton of things that are related to bamboo in here including this guy here a black build um, scythe bill just a cap uh, becards around uh, this is another big target and is hard to find we didn't see it in our last tour that I went there's a swallowtail cotinga is the only picture that I got when it was on a nest uh, a couple of years back and uh, this is a gray hooded flycatcher when we move inside the forest we tend to find uh, things like this um, together with another of the endemic of Brazil is the Serra uh, tyrant mannequin or also called Serra do Mar tyrant mannequin Surukua trogon is uh, really cool bird to find. Uh, the Surukua means trogon, so this is actually called a trogon trogon. <laughs> and uh, yellow-legged thrush are around in these uh, in these forests in the highlands. One day from here, from the hotel in which also we spend um, we spend three nights at. Uh, dividing the tour in highlands and lowlands, remember, we go to this particular spot that it is even higher, that is called the Algulas Negras. And uh, this road here holds a bunch of specialties. Being much higher up, it is the main place for Itachiaia Spinetail or Thistletail, uh, one of the few places to get that one. And uh, this is my favorite that we get in the area. Such a cool bird, eh? This is called the Green Crowned uh, Plover Crest, recently split, and this is also endemic to Brazil. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful bird. We start getting a couple other endemics, this bay-chested warbling finch and the buff-throated warbling finch, both endemic to Brazil. Same guy here in these higher elevation areas. And of course, tanagers. This is the diadem Tanagers, one of the coolest tanagers that we have in this area. 
and uh, there is a couple of androids that are in highlands only here this is the giant antrike really really big massive bird uh, another of the big 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 ones here the large tailed antrike as well uh, another of the endemics of Brazil is the best spot that we have to get these rufous backed ant vireo and I don't get a picture but also um, there's a pipritis uh, that we can get in here that it is also the best place for that again uh, Nick Athanas pictures the previous one and this one as well the uh, rufous tailed ant bird and another endemic of Brazil the Serra de Mar Tirania Lept um, they are all specials in this particular area in the top top parts of the Itachaya National Park uh, together with yellow browed woodpecker again endemic to Brazil now we move to another spot so this is the hotel area that we have been and these areas here are the Algulas Negras that we did a day tour here and we are ready to finish the tour and we for that we go down towards Sao Paulo back and visit some of these dry areas here in these valleys where we can get a bunch of really cool stuff to finish the tour in a, in a high note including this red-legged Seriema that sometimes wanders around the the roads is a, is a really cool bird look at this bird with lipstick very cool eh? um, this is another of Brazil's endemic the cinnamon tanager coral crested jays um, were amongst the favorite birds of the tour in my previous tour voted like that and another uh, endemic to Brazil the half-colored sparrow is there planalto um, hermits around and uh, sapphire spangled emeralds around in these dry dry areas um, together with tony headed um, swallows so we are about to finish the tour and for that one we'll leave this one to the to the end the white uh, uh, eared puff bird so like that we just finish the tour taking a long ride that it is about four hours back to the big city of Sao Paulo and the tour actually ends at the airport of Guarulhos where we just basically say goodbye this is a short tour um, that is a great complement to what we have um, done already that is the Pantanal if you haven't seen that virtual tour please go ahead and, and, and watch that one um, and together with the Southeast Brazil, we link together the Pantanal. And um, that has been it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tour. Uh, come with me whenever you have a chance.